Well, that's, you know, actually my favorite part of the entire movie is the very ending. When, you know, they're at the train. Uh, maybe it's the L? Are they, are they in? Yeah, they're okay. in Chicago. Okay. So they're, they're at the L at that point, and Dell and Neil say goodbye to each other. And Neil gets on the, the train, the L, and he's just thinking back on their adventure. And he's laughing. And he's also thinking about memories of, you know, I guess what he thinks Thanksgiving is going to be like or what's presently happening at home for Thanksgiving. So all this is mixed together. He's got the memories of this new friend, and he realizes that this is his friend. He, it's, it, that comes through in this. Yeah. And he also has this moment where the ice finally fully melts, and he realizes, oh, my God. You know, we have Dell. He's this wonderful man. He's a very caring man. He <laughs> definitely, you know, again, putting it lightly, has some foibles. But, you know, he's a, he's a good guy, and, and he really cares. And, and this kind of loving bear man, right, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't have anybody right now. Yeah. And he, he thinks back. And it's, it, it brought me back to all the times in my life when you've had an amazing adventure, with with friends that you've known or, or people you just met and that moment after all the madness where you're by yourself and you can collect your thoughts and you think back and you fully process what has just happened i mean that's whew, that's amazing it is i mean we've talked about this before but you have these times in your life mm -hmm. where you have you're thrown in with someone yeah in an intense way for a very short period of time yep and you just go from not knowing this person to just feeling like you're, like, super best friends. Yeah, yeah. For a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's funny. I had that, and we talked about this before. I've had that with uh, somebody in grad school. I yeah, was I remember in, this story. I was in graduate school, and I was going to a conference in Pennsylvania to present a workshop. Mm -hmm. And one of the undergrads in my program had gotten a paper accepted because it's an undergraduate conference and uh, our professor was not going to go to the thing. So she says, well, can you, you take him? So me and this guy, Joel, ended up riding across New England and Pennsylvania together and going to this conference. And I barely knew this person. Yeah. And then at the end of this trip, I felt like I knew him better than anyone else I'd ever known. Right. <laughs> and then we kind of just didn't really talk that much after that. <laughs> <laughs>